Good afternoon. I'm Sam Sotis. And I'm Vince Vitrano. Big name developer wants to turn an abandoned dog racing track into a Midwest destination. Todd Hicks is live in Kenosha with more on the proposal. Todd. Well, the Menominee Tribe wants to bring the Hard Rock brand to Kenosha and the former Dairyland Race Park. Of course, there is a press conference underway right now. Officials are still talking in about this project and what it would entail. Now, the chairman of the company unveiled images of their vision for the former track. Hard Rock would operate the casino on behalf of the Menominee Tribe. They would be paid a fee. There would be a casino, a hotel, retail, and live music. Officials said this would change the landscape of Kenosha forever. We are hopeful that we will gain Governor Walker's support in order to create at least, you know, as Chairman said, three to 5,000 jobs, a minimum of 3,000 permanent jobs, over 2,000 construction jobs, and over 5,000 direct and indirect jobs once the facility opens. And this is one of the renderings of what would be a big and glitzy project. The chairman says these just aren't images of a project that may happen. He said this project will move forward. Of course, there is some stiff opposition, especially from several tribes like the Potawatomi. And of course, I'll have more on that coming up tonight on Live at 5. We're live in Kenosha. Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. All right, Todd, thanks very much. Look forward to those reports this afternoon. We want your thoughts on what you would like Steve and Courtney to talk about during our What's Hot segment of our 3 p.m. newscast today. Today's viewers' choices are, should a casino in Kenosha, the one you just heard about, be approved? Should doctors receive better training to help obese patients? Or should schools stop post-game handshakes at sporting events? You can vote and comment on TMJ4's Facebook page. And check this out. How would you like to stay stuck in a vertical position?